as I've indicated, this has the same qualities as a piece of glass, and that is it's brittle, so it breaks easily. It breaks with a sharp edge. It's also elastic, which means that it has the opportunity to, or the characteristic of allowing it to bend so that when a, a piece is struck off, it doesn't just shatter into tiny fragments. It has to have a certain amount of strength and hardness to maintain a sharp edge. And it has to be fairly pure, so there aren't any uh, impurities in it, changes in texture. The other characteristic that's really important is, is that it breaks equally well in any direction. There's no internal fracture planes that predetermine where it's going to break. Where it breaks is entirely up to me and how I apply the force to the material. So that when I strike a piece of flaking material or stone, um, what happens is the hammer stone transfers energy into the surface of the material in the shape of a cone. And most people have probably seen what happens when uh, a piece of plate glass is, is struck by a BB or some other small object at great force. The object hits the surface of the glass and produces a small hole, but then as the energy passes through the glass, it produces a cone. And you'll see uh, this little cone that's knocked out of that window or plate glass. And that comes from the energy passing through the material in the shape of a cone. Okay, the same thing happens when I hit a piece of uh, flint or chert or chalcedony, agate, jasper, obsidian. The energy is transferred into the surface of the material in the shape of this cone. Now, that doesn't do me much good if I hit the middle of a piece of material because even a cone shape wouldn't be a, a very good or useful tool. So, what happens is instead of hitting the middle of a piece of material, one strikes near an edge where two faces of material come together so that looking at it from the side, this is a chunk of rock, one strikes near the edge like this. And what happens is the energy still passes into the material in the shape of a cone, but towards the front edge, that energy can't, doesn't transfer out into the air. It actually reflects back inward from that front surface and joins up with the energy on the back side of the cone and it actually allows it to break something like this. And this piece that's removed then is what we call a flake. So everything that I do when I'm flaking and making stone tools or projectile points or anything like that has to do with these basic principles of physics right here, how the stone breaks. And it's how I apply the force, where I apply the force, that determines what I produce.